Hey guys, it's Lana Blake with Redefine Horizons, and I'm sitting in Stockton, with my crooked hat. It is uh, about 100 degrees outside at 6 p.m. on a Saturday, and so instead of doing yard work like it should be, I am hiding in my dark office, <laughs> and I wanted to do a video. In this video, I'm going to show you um, how I, I'm going to tackle a messed up uh, highway right away deed. And um, I wanted to show this video for a couple reasons. Um, one is it, it really illustrates the importance of a graphical plat or uh, a, having a graphical plat with a deed. Um, it also uh, shows why it's really important to get highway right of map, highway right of way maps. And um, it shows that um, you know you can't you can't just be a, a deed staker. Um, and it shows that even when you do all those other additional things, you know, get the highway right away map and, and try and look at supporting evidence to resolve a, a, a problem, land description and a deed, that you, it's still, you might still not get all the answers you need. So that, that's the situation that I'm in. Um, and to be fair, um, I, I cheated a little bit because I've been through this deed quite a bit. Um, and so I, I have some of the solutions to the, to the problem but I want to just walk you through the problem. So I've got this old Caltrans deed up. It was from the seventies and I don't know what, I don't know what these, I don't know what Caltrans was doing in the sixties and seventies, uh, but a lot of their stuff from that time period is pretty dorked up. <laughs> so this is not uncommon and you're going to see even, even when we get in the right of way map, uh, you know, when, when I was a young surveyor, I would often get frustrated at how the Caltrans right of way maps often did not have the information I needed. I understand now why Caltrans does that. It's because they don't they don't survey everybody's property when they're when they're putting in a right of way, and I understand that now. But um, and so we'll look at some of the information that is missing from the right of way map that it would be nice to have. Um, and this is real life. This is just this is part of being a boundary surveyor and figuring some of this stuff out. So uh, we have our description here. Um, so it begins at a point on the southerly line of a state highway. So there's an existing state highway. They're coming in to widen it. Um, and that point bears, so our first course is this northwest bearing 256 feet from a one inch iron pipe marking the south one quarter corner of section 29. So let's look at that. So I'm going to show you what my first attempt, so this is my first attempt at the deed. And you have to be careful if you go and read the deed, it's describing everything northerly of a line. Okay, so southerly of the existing state highway and northerly of, of the described line, the line described in the deed. So this is my first attempt. All right, so here's our, our tie, our 256-foot tie, northwesterly. So this is the quarter corner marked by the one-inch iron pipe. Okay, so they run up this course, 256 feet. So that's this course here. Okay, then they go, they give you a, a northing and easting in the old state plane system. Uh, then they go uh, southwest so south 59, 23, 19, west 22 feet. Okay, so we have that in. So here's that uh, southwesterly course, 22 feet, okay, at that bearing. All right, okay, now this is where things start to get a little funky. So then they have this curve, and usually, usually land descriptions get dorked up in the curves, okay? So that's just kind of a rule of thumb. So right here they say, they give you a tangent. So they say from a tangent that bears northwest this bearing, 30, 36, 41, along a curve concave to the southwest. So they tell us which way the curve points, the mouth of the curve, and they give us a radius, 958 feet even, and they give us an angle and an arc length of 482. Okay, so I went ahead and drew in that tangent. So here is the tangent uh, with the bearing they gave, the northwesterly bearing, 30, 36, 41. And I went ahead and put in the curve with that. Uh, I used the radius and the arc length, and that's the curve I get. Okay, and it is concave southwest, so that part's right. Okay. So then the next course is they go north 59, 26, 36, 263.75 feet. So that is this course here. That's my north Northwesterly course, 263 feet. Okay, then they go on a, a tangent curve, concave to the south, point south. They give the radius, 1158 feet, and then the angle and the arc distance. Okay, so I put that curve in, tangent, to this line here, uh, using the radius and the arc length again. And then they go to uh, the um, 
west line of the southeast quarter of the southeast quarter. That's of section 29, even though they don't tell you that. And uh, they go, uh, then they go down the line. Now, it's, it's weird. They say distant along said, le, said last line northwest this 767.04 feet from a redwood post marking the southwest corner. So it, it, it's, it's a little bit weird. They, they come to a point that bears from this point that bearing a distance. I'm not exactly sure why they did it that way. Um, uh, what that tells me is they wanted to hold this line rather than the length of the curve, which is fine. Um, it's just it was confusing the way they the way they wrote it. Um, you know the the way I would normally see that written is uh, to go the the length of the curve to a point that bears this bearing a distance from the roadbed post. That's not how they wrote it, but I was able to figure it out. All right, so that that's what I was able to draw uh, from the D. Now this is not at all what it looks like, um, and I knew that. Um, because I, this is the, my, my vesting deed is this shape here. This is the old county road, okay? And then it accepts out whatever piece went to the state in the highway deed that we just looked at. So I was looking for something that looked like this, this, uh, let's make the line blue. I'll, I'll change the color on these. So I was looking for something that looked something like these blue lines here. Um, and that is not what we got. Um, so the very first thing I did was get a hold of Caltrans and, and get the right-of-way map um, to try and figure this out. So let's look at the right-of-way map. And you should always get the right-of-way map when you're adjacent to state right-of-way. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and look at that right-of-way map. Okay, so this is the right-of-way map. And it did help. It didn't solve all my problems, but it did help. Okay, so <clears throat> this is my parcel down here. This is my client. And you can see this is the line that we're trying to get off the deed here. Okay. So it's this line. Now we have to be careful because this part in red was actually relinquished to Tuolumne County. Okay, it went back to Tuolumne County, so they took some of this old highway and gave it back. But I still need to know where it's at because my boundary is this line here. So I, I have the state as an adjoiner here, and I have the county as an adjoiner here. Okay, so you can see from what's drawn here uh, on the map, that looks a lot more like this blue line work than this. All right, so here, here's what I was able to figure out. So let me show you how I solved this. So let's come back in here. I'm just going to copy this geometry. And what I'm trying to do is figure out how it fits my parcel using some information on the right-of-way map. Okay, so here's what I figured out. Um, here's what I was able to do first. What I was able to do first... this out of the way. So this is what I started with. Okay, so the very first thing I did was we have a surveyed location of this pipe on the quarter section corner here, and we have a surveyed location on this other, um, this section corner here. And so I knew where, where my deed started. I have that. And they show that on the right-of-way map. It's this corner here. Now, here's the problem. When I put in their distance from here to here, this 133598, that is not what I get on my surveyed location. So I am, I'm a few feet different. Okay, <clears throat> now, so I've got two choices there. I can hold this distance, so let's just put it in. So I've got two, two choices here. So I can hold, I can extend this line out here and hold the distance that's on the right-of-way map, or I can hurt, hold the surveyed location of the, of the quarter corner. And I'm gonna hold, I'm gonna hold my monument that we found in the field. So here's what you gotta remember about these old highway maps, at least in California, is, you know, Caltrans didn't do a full survey of this parcel, my client's parcel. So this distance that they've got here is a guess, okay? It's a guess. Um, I don't know that they actually surveyed this redwood post. They say they found it, but I don't know if they surveyed it. Um, but I, I, this distance to me is suspect, okay? Um, so 
we're going to go ahead. I'm going to put it in. This is my surveyed location. So I'm going to go ahead and put in the first two calls from the deed from that location. Okay. Now, we got to be a little bit careful doing that because um, I'm not 100% sure what basis of bearing I'm on yet. Uh, but it's a start. Okay. So we can put that in. Okay. Now, <clears throat> what I realized looking at the right-of-way map is I realized that this curve here um, is not tangent to this line that they give in the D. So they, they give this as a north um, a north 30 degrees something and I don't know what happened but that is not correct. So if you if you look at the right-of-way map you actually find out uh, that this curve is actually tangent to this line, this 263.75. Okay, and you can figure that out from the bearings. So I don't know how the South 59, 26, 36 turned into a Northwest 30. I don't know what happened, but it, it doesn't work. Okay, so what I was able to do is I was able to uh, put in the curve. Um, I was able to put in the curve tangent to this line. Okay. And so that's what I did. I went ahead and put it in tangent to that line. So I'm just going to steal that from up here. Okay, so I put it in tangent to this, this next course because I could tell from the right-of-way map that that's what the intent was. Okay, now what's interesting is when you do that, um, just as a check, I, I realized when I did that 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 curve is also tangent to a line that is perpendicular to this tie line here. Okay, so that made me feel good, right? I, I, that made me feel good. <laughs> that made logical sense to me that we would be tangent to this little segment here. Um, you know, so they, they came perpendicular from this new right-of-way line back over to the old right-of-way line. Okay, so that made me feel good. Okay, so uh, that made me feel like I had this curve in the right spot. Okay, then I have the next, uh, we have this tangent. Okay. Um, now I can't remember. Let's make sure that matched the that matched the deed. Okay. Now let's see. Where's my tangent? Uh, okay. So two sixty three seventy five in the deed. Sorry, that matches this course in the Caltrans in the Caltrans right away map so that's good that makes me feel good now again I'm still a little bit unsure about the basis of bearing okay but uh, at least here now I'm in okay all right so then we have uh, this next curve uh, that was tangent to this line I just put in uh, per the D okay and you can see uh, now when I actually when I actually did the actual curve it doesn't flush up with this line so let's run the length and command. And we're going to put in the actual curve length for the D. Okay, so we're going to use the total length. Okay, and the length of that curve in my deed was, uh, let's see, 567.71. Okay, so we're going to change that. Okay, so you can see it overshoots. Um, it, it, it overshoots my, my parcel there. Now again, um, you know, I'm a, I've got some choices here, right? Uh, so I could just trim this uh, to match my line here, but the problem with that is I, I don't know that I'm on the right basis of bearing, right? We, these could be on different bases of bearings. Um, my lovely folks at Caltrans um, in the uh, in the 70s did not set any monuments on the right of way, of course, so there's nothing for me to find here. Now, I could put it in using this bearing. I could put in this bearing and then rotate stuff to fit, uh, but I'm, I'm worried that this isn't a good line. I don't know that they actually surveyed this. I know, I know for a fact that this uh, quarter, quarter corner here is over uh, in the middle of a freaking gully over a hill, and yeah, I, I just don't know that they did put forth that level of effort. Uh, but it's possible. Um, so let's let's do this a couple ways. We're gonna we're gonna compare a couple methods here. 
Okay, now we haven't closed this gap yet, and I'll come back and we'll talk about that in a minute. Okay, so what we're gonna do uh, is we're gonna just go ahead and move this out. All right, uh, we're gonna move this out here, and then we're gonna put in a line here. Let's see if I remember how to do this at BricsCAD. At, and then I'm gonna say angle north 890604, 89 degrees. 06 minutes 04 seconds west, comma, and I'm just going to go 2,000 feet because I don't care. I did not like that. Let's try um, just the angle. Angle north 89D, 06 minutes 04 seconds west, 2,000 feet. Nope, how about uh, angle north 89D, 6 minutes, 4 seconds west, 2,000. All right, so it's not letting me do that for some reason. I can't remember. Uh, I can't remember what am I doing wrong there. Let's see, hang on one sec. Okay guys, so <clears throat> I went ahead and put this line in from the Caltrans map. And so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna try and get this on the same basis of bearing, even though we're gonna be using that suspect Caltrans bearing. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and rotate all of this. rotate it using this mon and we're going to rotate from the end of the Caltrans bearing to our bearing and you can see that actually makes the curve fit worse not better right so I don't love that solution so here is uh, what you could do so I can draw a circle from here to here and I'm gonna say hey I think these folks probably measured the distances better than they measured the bearings So I'm gonna rotate these lines to fit the distances. Okay, so I'm gonna rotate with that as my reference. I'm gonna rotate up to this intersection. Okay, so now it fits, and that's probably a better solution than trimming, because uh, that's probably gonna put us closer to the same, uh, the same basis of bearing. Okay, so um, that, that's a reasonable solution, I think, um, and we'll we'll um, we got a little bit of slop there to trim. It looks like uh, we will actually I snapped to the wrong spot. We will uh, we have uh, uh, some topo here, so we will check the actual improvements on the frontage road to the highway and make sure that we're not encroaching into the highway there. Okay, so. Um, again, even with the with the right of way deed, uh, we didn't we still had to do some you know hocus pocus here <laughs> to get that to fit. Um, now, I want to show you something else um, down here in this corner, and uh, so the the Caltrans deed you know starts here, comes up, goes down, and then and runs northwest. It never closes out this piece. And so I, I'm not sure where my boundary is between me and the county or the state from here to here. Now, <clears throat> this is the old county right-of-way per my grant deed, which one would, would think became Highway 120. Uh, but you'll notice there, there's a fairly big gap <laughs> between where Caltrans says that point is and where my deed says it is. And, you know, that's just because this stuff is old and it's up in the mountains. Okay, but you know, 13 feet, not a small difference. Uh, okay, so let me tell you how I'm gonna try and solve this problem. So, you know, if you come into the Caltrans right away map, it'd be great um, if we could get this distance from here, which I have surveyed, this monument surveyed, if we could get this distance right here, um, and then I could just connect the dots here. But you can see Caltrans doesn't give me that distance. Of course they don't, and it's probably because, um, 
They did survey this old right of way right here of Highway 120 in between. You'll notice there's no bearings or distances or other information here. So this really sucks. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this relinquishment deed, which is for this cross-hatch parcel here in kind of the magenta color pencil, pink color pencil. My guess is when I pull that deed, it is not going to have bearings and distances along these lines like I want. It's probably just going to refer to the old highway right away 120. So I'm probably host, okay? But, um, so barring another fantastic solution, uh, you know, I, I don't want to hold this line per my old deed because that's just, I just, it's probably not right. Um, so here's my uh, temporary solution until I get the relinquishment deed is I'm going to go ahead and put this in, this tangent in, okay? And I'm going to say, hey, uh, I know Caltrans is jogging back to the old old county road here, so I'm going to put that tangent in. Um, and it's not exactly parallel to this line in my deed, but it's fairly close. Um, and I'm going to say, you know what? The information in my old deed is, is probably not super accurate. Um, I'm going to say this is probably the right-of-way line of the um, old Highway 120, the old county road. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go see how this lines up with improvements down here. Um, and uh, there may not be a fantastic uh, solution here. This may be gray. I may not be able to get a black, black and white answer. Uh, I'm going to reach out to some folks um, I know at the county to see if we can maybe come up with a way of figuring this out. Um, now, fortunately, it's not critical. My, my client's not doing anything with this part of the parcel. Uh, if they were, I might tell them, hey, um, you know, we, we got to try and work something out with Tuolumne County or we've got to do a, a quiet title action to clean this up because I don't know that I'm going to get a good survey answer to this. It's just this stuff is old. It's really old, um, and, and I'm probably not going to get a great answer. Um, so, but that's my solution for now. Uh, it's not fantastic, uh, but it, I think it's reasonable. And uh, we're, we've got a good relationship with the county surveyor up here in Tuolumne County, so I am definitely going to, um, I'm definitely going to reach out to him and uh, talk to him about how we might solve this, this particular segment here, because uh, I have the feeling that the county is the owner on the other side of this line. And so I'm hoping they'll, they'll work with me and, and we can get that figured out. So I'm just going to go ahead and adjust these lines now back over. Um, for now, I'm going to leave the old county road right away uh, per my deed uh, in the drawing. Because uh, that, that may be some evidence that I have to consider at some point. I can't say that I won't move the line back out here to where it's, where it's at per my deed. Um, but... You know, I've got some conflicts here. So the Caltrans map, you know, doesn't line up very good. I've got a 13 foot, 13 and a half foot difference here. Uh, but I was able to get the majority of this in. And this is, you know, the area where my development is, is going to be is uh, up here in this corner of the parcel. And I've got that line in. I'm pretty happy with it. We'll check it against some improvements on the existing frontage road. Uh, so that just goes to show, you know, uh, it's not always easy to be a surveyor. This is what I got off the original Caltrans deed, and I needed something that looked like this. You know, one of the keys to figuring that out uh, was the highway right-of-way map, right? That's why a graphical plat or a right-of-way map is so important. Uh, but, you know, I'm missing some critical information here that I don't think Caltrans ever figured this out. That's why they didn't put it on the right-of-way map. And uh, now I'm going to have some issues with it. Uh, but it's not really Caltrans' problem because this is county, county land, county right-of-way, so... The county and I have to have to probably figure that out. So, all right, guys. I know that went a little longer than my typical video, but I thought it was really important to show you guys that. And uh, we'll we'll do some more on uh, right of way and easements and and interpreting uh, old survey docs.